heavenly places in Christ Jesus. When you got saved, the blessing of Abraham came on you. That blessing is on you right now. How many of you are born again? How many of you made Jesus Lord of your life? Well, listen, I have good news for you. You are blessed. You are blessed. Every promise God ever made to Abraham and his seed has been fulfilled in Christ Jesus and deposited into our heavenly account. Now, we must find out how to use or to exercise our checking privileges, how to get those promises out of the heavenly account in heaven and bring them to the earth. How to take those deposits out of heaven and bring them into the earth. That's the question today. How do we do it? Because we're blessed. Ephesians 1, 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath, past tense, blessed us with what? All spiritual blessings. Now notice where they're located. In Christ. In the Spirit. But now we got to get them out of the Spirit because those blessings been in the Spirit, in Christ, ain't going to do you no good. Because you need that which is spiritual to become physical. What good is it knowing that I'm rich spiritually? Rich spiritually ain't going to pay your bills. What good is knowing, praise God, I'm healed spiritually. But I don't need healing spiritually necessarily. I need healing physically. I need this pain to leave. I need this growth to disappear. Come on, somebody. I need this diagnosis to be reversed. Hallelujah. Now, glory to Jesus. Look again in verse 14. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit. How? We receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Now, herein lies the key to the blessing door. Herein lies the key to the blessing door. How do we gain access to this blessing? Through faith. Those two simple words is the key to the blessing. You access it through faith. Now, listen, it was through faith that you became born again. It was through faith that you became the seed of Abraham. It was through faith, praise God, that you became legal heirs of the blessing. It's through faith we release its operation into our lives. How do you release the operation of the blessing into your life? Through faith. Now, most people, including Christians, Think that the way you receive the operation of the blessing is through keeping religious rules and regulations. Most people think that if I do enough good things, I'll deserve the blessing. If I dot every I and cross every T, if I pray enough, if I read my Bible enough, if I come to church more consistently, if I tithe faithfully every week, if I do all of these good things, then perhaps the blessing will start operating. That is not how you access the blessing. The blessing doesn't come through your own works and efforts. Come on, somebody. You can't be good enough to deserve the blessing. You can't earn the blessing through your own performance. The blessing is God's gift to his children. Look at somebody and say, the blessing is a gift. gift. See, you don't pay for the gift. It's already been purchased and paid for by the blood. Jesus purchased the gift for you. Your responsibility is to receive. Say, I got to receive. Hallelujah. And how do you receive? Through faith. So the blessing is ours through faith, not through our own works. You know, this is going to be extremely important as we, amen, prepare for the next series on righteousness by faith. Because, see, most people think that their right standing with God is based upon their own doing. Well, I'm righteous because I pray. I'm righteous because I read my Bible. I'm righteous because I pray in tongues. I'm righteous because I don't smoke and I don't drink and I don't cuss and I don't use profanity and I love people and I do everything right because I'm just a saint. Liars. No, you're righteous because of the blood. Because of the truth be known. Oh. The Bible said your righteousness is filthy rags. God said, I look at all the right things you do, and at the end of the day, it just makes me stink. That's what he says. It stinks. 
Hello and thank you for watching this short YouTube video. If you're ever in the Greensboro area, I would like to personally invite you to come and be my special guest at Abundant Life Church International. We're located at 2923 Pacific Avenue in Greensboro, North Carolina. Also, you can reach us by way of telephone by calling 336-389-9933. Again, 336-389-9933. Well, thank you for your time. I'm Edward Kirkpatrick, and remember, we're changing lives one message at a time.